To define digitalization, um, particularly from an industry perspective, um, it's a lot about using digital technologies and digital tools. What we're working a lot on is to really create the connectivity of those tools with uh, customers' equipment and assets. That will give us the chance to automate and uh, control and manage our processes in a much better way. And there is, for us, mainly two streams. One is uh, the maintenance, which is, of course, as old as machines are. Um, what we doing through digitalization is that we collecting much more data than in the past to understand the conditions of the machine. We control also at the very beginning, for example, the uh, supply chain of lubricants and then we can apply the lubricant um, much closer to the condition of the machine and the asset through the data we are gaining and that is helping to increase the quality of lubrication. And with this more active way of lubrication we are also quite close already to the second stream and that is about um, condition monitoring. Key is the customer's equipment where we take standard data away like uh, temperature, vibrations, speed. And that is telling us about the way the equipment is used, also under which condition it is and it is helping us to be much more precise the way we lubricate and to help the crews to be faster to, to control their equipment. So digitalization will benefit the work of all these maintenance crews um, a lot by having these precise data and a better control about what's ongoing. And it is not so much about taking work away or having huge automation, but it is mainly about enhancing the skills of the maintenance crews. Let's have a look first into the drivers of the industries and um, they have not changed so much over the years. It's always about efficiency and the output of the machines. But a very important topic today is also sustainability, getting uh, clean and green and uh, of course lubrication using uh, all kind of um, difficult substances like oils and grease has a, a huge impact to that. But then what we see more and more also is the uh, aging of the workforce and connected to that is that a lot of uh, skills moving away from the companies and that has uh, of course an impact um, to the quality of maintenance also and to lubrication. So digitalization can help us to bridge over those issues and the way we can do that is by optimizing the processes of lubrication, capturing a lot of data which is enabling real-time control of the asset and the lubrication schedules. It is also about using in the future then more algorithms, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning and so on. And that is a lot about to, to optimize how we lubricate, how much, when, and these elements will clearly increase the reliability of the assets and giving the maintenance managers a much better control over their equipment because with the way we can be much more precise, the way we lubricate, do not over lubricate, but also have enough there, we will reduce waste and that will help companies a lot to comply with new standards and laws as much as it will reduce cost, of course. It has quite an impact also on health and safety because you have less lubricant getting down to the ground or having other hazardous um, impacts. So uh, the ecological footprint will be definitely improved by using intelli intelligent lubrication management. For sure there is also drawbacks in uh, digitalization, uh, disadvantages uh, we have to face and, and try to compensate. So digitalization in itself is not a benefit. We have to understand the values we can add and, and bring to the customers. So through data-driven solution, we can add such values and, and some of them are obvious, like uh, easy to install, easy to use. Others, we have to be much more specific and understand the customer's processes the workflows, how they have set up their facilities, what is the equipment they are using. Another requirement which we should not underestimate is the investment in digitalization. And we all know that from all kind of digitalization we have already in our company. So it's the software, it's the hardware, it's the training into the people, all that got to be there. A true risk, uh, something which can really put the complete company uh, into risk is uh, cyber attacks, of course. Um, the software has to be safe and secure that uh, no data are leaking out or that anyone can come from outside to corrupt um, the IT systems and the softwares. And that 
we of course try to bring from the beginning in any of our digital solutions that this is not an issue for the customer. And then there is um, a drawback which is also related to the drivers in the industry. We have less competent people on board and digital uh, systems, they require quite some competence. You get to a certain extent dependent on technology and this technology got to be maintained and uh, kept up so that it is really working well. So overall, when you summarize it, the real drawback or let's say the risk is that you look at digitalization and connectivity in an isolated way. We have already launched quite some products but also services and software and electronics which are available. This goes from connected manual devices even to connected single point lubricator. We have smart lubrication pumps for automated lubrication systems, but we can also build up a complete connected and uh, digital ecosystem. The software solutions, they are helping you to create routes for the manual lubrication. You can control the scheduling, you have a better overview about the maintenance plans, you can adopt to that and all that is stored in a cloud-based solution and those are created open so that you can embed them into your own computer systems or you use our platform to manage the maintenance. A good example is our Smart P253, which is a, a, a pump which you can connect wireless and that you do over our eLoop app. And um, in that way, you have control over that pump, both in monitoring the pump and the lubrication system, but you can also change settings and do more things through that app. And um, that's a very beneficial um, application if you have the pump, for example, in hazardous areas where you cannot access the pump without stopping the machine. Then it becomes obvious that we can add a lot by visualizing, monitoring, <clears throat> managing and controlling uh, lubrication management equipment uh, in a much better way. However, we got to do that together with the customer, uh, adding resources uh, there um, and then gain on efficiency and safety, also on environmental impact. So digitalized uh, lubrication in the future is um, a lot about how we manage data and this will evolve um, how the future will be shaped generally but also for lubrication management. Our digital lubrication systems will be fully integrated in the customer's assets and machines. We will have real-time control of data of our own systems and such of uh, the customers. These uh, real-time data we will use to feed um, those into artificial intelligence models, machine learning, predictive maintenance systems, and uh, with those then we can find patterns which are relevant uh, or ongoing in the systems and uh, difficult to find manually. And that gives us then the capability to give out trend and trend analysis to the customers. And uh, that will enhance and, and uh, improve the efficiency and the lifetime of their machines. What will be clearly in the future a, a key trend also is edge computing. We have to have electronic devices at the machine, at the device of the customers, capturing data, processing data at the device, and so reduce the amount of data and the amount of latency data uh, which is communicated up to the cloud. Sustainability, that will be very, very closely linked um, with digitalization and lubrication. Uh, both technologies uh, will enable um, our customers to manage their ecological footprint. So we will help them to minimize their waste, uh, but also we will help them a lot, of course, um, to manage the usage of their lubricants. And uh, both we will be able to do that uh, much smarter and faster than uh, what we can offer that today.